All right, what's the most important thing for Astro Night Photography? Oh, that's what it is. I almost forgot. Oh, I almost forgot. This is the most important thing for winter night astrophotography. I know I live in New Mexico and everybody always says, oh my God, you live in New Mexico, it's so warm all the time. I'm 6,000, I'm 7,000 feet up right now and it's very cold. It's supposed to get down to 12 tonight. No, 16, it was 12 last night. <laughs> Anyways, what's up guys? Welcome to the first episode of the year. So I ended last year with uh, my worst failures and my best images and my, my worst failure of last year was definitely the last time I tried to set up my new telescope. That was comical and not comical at the same time. Okay, foot warmth check. So I think it was probably around New Year's Day this year when I was sitting around thinking, I need to do another video because it was about that time. And I realized that I've done between one and three videos every single week for the past three and a half years with zero breaks. And it's like all of a sudden, like exhaustion just hit me. So that's the wrong camera. So I decided to take a break and uh, it was much needed. And I think with photography, there's with anything really, I mean, there's burnout. There's been like general world burnout lately, you know, <laughs> being stressed out over all the craziness going on in the world right now, especially in my country. And uh, that stuff was just really affecting, affecting my creativity. I just had hard time. It's not that I was burnout for wanting to do videos. I have a lot of videos that I want to do uh, and that I've been ready for, but just feeling so exhausted in every other way. I just needed a break. So I took one and I decided that I wouldn't do a video this year until I felt motivated and stoked about something. So for the past few nights, I've been playing with my new telescope and I finally figured it out and got it all working. And, and uh, for the first time this year, I am extremely motivated to show you guys what I've been up to and make this video. So today we're gonna do, tonight we're gonna do some astrophotography and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be photographing some deep space objects starting with Orion's Nebula, which is right over there. And I'm just getting this RP set up so I can do a time lapse for B-roll for you guys. But other than that, we're gonna pull the telescope out and get set up. All right, got the telescope out. Got the Celestron Nexstar 5SE. It's my nice, happiness, new travel telescope. It's very light, very convenient, very light, comparatively speaking. All right, we got my Goal Zero Yeti here. And uh, we're gonna be powering the telescope with that. It's the most handy thing ever for landscape, astro, time, time-lapse photographer. Invest in a good power supply. <laughs> yeah, and a proper tripod. Oh, Brittany's so funny. So, yeah, we have my proper tripod now. If you guys saw that last video. Uh, a lot of you guys had a lot of good names for that uh, ghetto setup that I had. It was quite comical. So, first thing we've got to do is I've got to get this aligned. All right, so I just gotta put my GPS in here. Standard time, date. I should only have to do this once at least, so. All right, so now I'm ready to align. So this has a handy dandy computer in it and I can just tell it how I want to align and pick my three stars and do my triangle and align it. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so we've got it all set up. I've got it uh, polar aligned and we're star tracking now. And I've got Orion's Nebula in the frame here. 
All right, so I got this camera so I can get a close up for you guys so you can see. So there's the nebula right there. And then now you can see my settings as we're looking at 10 seconds. It says F00, that's because the telescope's manual um, and it doesn't communicate. So that's a F10. We're at 1250 millimeters. That's what, uh, that's what the focal length equivalent is for the telescope. And we're at ISO 12,800. So you can see from the single image that it's pretty noisy and there's not a lot of detail. It is there and it is really cool looking just to see on the back of the screen. But what we're doing is I'm gonna take a lot of images, like at least 40 or 50 images, which actually for astrophotography is not a lot. Like normal, when you do this kind of stuff, normal astrophotographers can take, you know, 500 to 1,000 images a night easily uh, doing this. Especially at these shorter, uh, the shorter, what, what word am I looking for? Sh shutter speed. The <laughs> shorter shutter speed. So I could potentially do a longer shutter speed and then that way I could reduce my noise. But in an effort for time and for the video and everything, I only did a two star alignment. And uh, if you don't know anything about Astro stuff, I didn't do, there's, there's two star alignments, there's three star alignments, and then there's polar and equatorial alignments. And there's a lot of different ways that you can align this. But basically what that means is I have to set this up, the computer that's moving the telescope right now very slowly to match the Earth's rotation, the, the relative motion of the stars. Uh, I have to align it so that it knows exactly where it's at based on the GPS and based on the stars that are in its database. And then once I do that, then it will know exactly how much and where to move to track this so that I can at least get a longer shutter speed. With a normal lens, uh, like with my 800 or whatever, I could never do a, a 10 second or longer exposure. And I can possibly, if I do a better alignment, like if I were to do a three star alignment, I could possibly get uh, 30 seconds to a minute depending on uh, how good I did the alignment, but I didn't do it that well. So we're just gonna take shorter shots and more of them instead of longer shots. And it's gonna kind of balance out the same once we get into the computer. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do now is, I've just been touching this, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it into uh, time-lapse mode and I'm gonna let that go for just a little bit and I'm gonna do probably two second intervals and it'll just go and then we'll get what we need. I'm not gonna worry about doing uh, dark frames or, or bias frames or anything like that because this is just for this video. Uh, I don't think it's 100% necessary. So I think we're gonna be able to get a pretty good result out of this. Uh, even without doing that stuff. And then I'll take you into the computer and I will briefly, this isn't gonna be a full tutorial because there is a, if you've never done deep sky astrophotography editing before, uh, it can kind of like blow your mind. So if you guys wanna see like super in-depth tutorials on that, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what we can do about that. But those are gonna be really long really in-depth and really uh, niche <laughs>
right, so that was a super quick overview of kind of my process for editing. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, editing Astro Deep Space Astro stuff and just editing Astro stuff in general, especially if you want that detail, is just really time consuming and there's a lot of different techniques uh, in Photoshop and, and in other programs that you would use. And it's just, it's a lot to comprehend, uh, especially if you're just getting into this. So I will be doing probably some more videos. Well, I'll definitely be doing some more astro videos, some more deep space object videos. I got this telescope in particular because as far as uh, good quality telescopes go, it is a good quality telescope. And it's kind of at the lower uh, end for, or the smaller end for quality versus price versus travel ability. And that's kind of what I wanted. I didn't want anything too big or amazing. Uh, I wanted something that I can take with me because you guys know I travel a lot, especially around the Southwest. And I'm so lucky to live here where there's super dark skies and uh, being able to actually get the telescope out and get it set up fast enough to where I actually want to do this kind of stuff and want to do the videos. That was the most important thing to me. So you will be seeing more videos uh, in the future with the telescope as time goes on. I'm not turning my whole entire channel completely into astro stuff, even though uh, part of me would really like that. <laughs> I've got a lot of great stuff coming up. I've got a lot more landscape stuff. I've got some more gear reviews, some new gear coming up that I hopefully should be getting soon. I've got some new phone stuff coming up. Some of y'all may have seen some recent unpacked uh, stuff, so I will definitely be in on that as well. So it's definitely new year, new motivation. Uh, now that I've gotten past the break and the mental stuff and getting back into the new year, getting back into making this first video, uh, we're going to be rolling again, new videos every week. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I did here today in this video, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about things you want to see in the future or, or anything like that, also let me know in the comments below and you know, don't and you know I'll definitely answer them. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I've got new videos every week. Hit that like button if this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.